welcome to Real Talk with Anthony. I'm your host, Anthony. Today we talk about marijuana. What is marijuana? Where does it come from? What is in it? Is it good or bad for you? Hmm. Where does marijuana come from, you ask? It comes from the resins of an Indian hemp plant. Next question. What's inside marijuana? Why, there's one main component called THC along with another 400 different chemicals. Next question. Is marijuana good for you? Or is it bad for you? Well, that's a good question, actually, whoever asks that. Because it could go either way, actually. It's on. It's obviously bad if you were just using it normally for no real reason whatsoever, because it makes you sick and it gives you lung disease and cancer and it can damage your immune system. But it could be good for you if you know that you're going to die soon and you use it as a painkiller. My friend's been acting pretty strange lately. How do I tell if he's under the influence of marijuana or not? Well, that's a good question, actually, whoever you are. There are multiple ways to find out if someone's under the influence of marijuana. One way you can find out is if they have trouble remembering things that you just told them. Maybe you'll be in a conversation with them and you'll tell them an interesting fact, but they won't have any idea what you said two seconds later. Also, when they're walking around, they'll probably be all dizzy and confused and stuff. Another way that you can tell if they're under the influence of marijuana is if they have trouble thinking. In most cases, you, you could ask them a simple, like, math problem, and they won't have any idea what to do in the problem, even though they might be the best math student in the world. Another thing that marijuana does to you is that it gives you very bad motor coordination. Say one day when you're driving down the highway in your new hot motorcycle rod, all of a sudden something steps out in front of you, you won't have enough time to react, so you just go BOOM! What are some things you can do instead of smoking mar marijuana or other drugs? Well, there are numerous things you can do. You can graduate! You can even go on and become a famous painter. Maybe one day you want to fly in a balloon! You can even become famous! You can do so many different things without marijuana. Why do people use marijuana? Well, that's a good question, actually. Many people, such as artists, will use marijuana because they think it's going to make them more creative. Now, that may be true, but marijuana affects everyone differently, so there's no 100% <coughs> way of finding out whether or not it's going to make you creative. Other people like to use it as a painkiller because... A, they probably have a disease and they just don't want to have to live through the pain because they know the disease is going to disease is gonna kill them soon. Or they feel very stressed out because they're mad at someone or they're going through a very hard time in their life. Which, although marijuana may chill you out and make you relaxed, it's still giving you all the bad things that marijuana gives you. <coughs> Many young kids and teenagers use marijuana because their so-called friends say, Hey. You're going to smoke this very expensive thing that I spend all my money on, and you're going to smoke and you're going to like it, or else I'm not going to be your friend. What's the difference between medical marijuana and regular marijuana? There is none! Now that is sort of true. I mean, the term medical marijuana is often used when for the marijuana that is given under a prescription, even though it's the same exact thing as regular marijuana. Although, scientists can pull a chemical called THC, as I told you that's in marijuana before, they can pull it out and make it into other medicines that can treat people with certain diseases without it being as super dangerous as marijuana. Now to wrap things up on Real Talk with Anthony, we're going to answer one very good question. 
What can be done if you know someone that is under the influence of marijuana? How can you help them? Well, first thing you should do is you should go up to that person, as long as they, you actually know them and you have a connection to them, you're not just a total stranger, and say, why are you using it? If they say something like, I've got this serious cancer disease in me, and it, all this shit I have to go in there is killing me, and I just want to live the last few moments of my life in peace. Now, that's a valid answer to you, so you should just say, okay, and walk away. But say it wasn't for that reason, to say, my friends at school won't be friends with me unless I do this stuff, or... I've been trying to get into music lately, and I can't make any good music, so I'm going to use this to make me more creative. You should, after you say that, you should just first off start off by saying the bad things about marijuana, what it, marijuana, what, it, what can it do to you and stuff. They'll probably, they'll just probably just dimi- dismiss it and stuff like that, but you really need to persuade them, say, it's going to ruin your whole life. Say, try to convince them what they'll lose by smoking marijuana. They're probably going to lose connections to the people they love the most, not just their friends at school, because there's many more people out there that you can become friends with. It doesn't have to be these jerks at school that say, hey, I'll only be your friend if you smoke this stuff with me. Try to convince them. And once they finally give in, say, we can, I'll let it sit for a bit, but let's try to just get off the marijuana right now and let's go talk to a parent right now. And then they might be kind of uneasy about having to talk to a parent because they, they're nervous they'll get punished, but try to, remember, try to remind them that it's the best thing they can do right now. All right, that's all. I hope you had a fun time watching. We'll talk with Anthony. Bye. Information for Real Talk with Anthony is provided by Marijuana, Facts for Teens, and The Truth About Marijuana. Thank you and have a good night.